Hello everyone. In this video, you will learn how to solve resource allocation problem using dynamic programming technique. So first we will see the general procedure adopted in dynamic programming technique to solve multi-stage optimization problem. First define variables, objective function and constraints. Then divide the problem into number of sub problems. In dynamic programming, large problem can be solved by dividing into number of sub problems or number of stages. Then develop recursive relationship for optimality. Recursive relationship is the equation that we can use repetitively to find optimal values. Then decide whether to follow the forward or backward method to solve the problem. Then make tabular presentation to show the required values and calculations for each stage or for each sub problem. And finally, find optimal policy at each stage and then the overall optimal policy means take the decision at each stage or for each sub problem and use that decision or solution for next stages so that overall decision can be taken. So this is the general procedure that can be adopted in dynamic programming problem. Let us solve a resource allocation problem. So problem statement is like this. The owner of a chain of four grocery stores has purchased six crates of fresh strawberries. The table gives the estimated profits at each store when it is allocated various number of boxes. So table is given like this. So in this table, first column is number of boxes or number of crates. And here estimated profits are given. So there are four stores and these are the profit values for different number of boxes allocated to different stores. The owner does not wish to split crates between store but is willing to make zero allocations find the allocations of six crates so as to maximize the profits. So here we cannot divide one box or one crate in two or more stores. One crate or one box of strawberry should be allocated to single store and we have to find out optimum allocation of these boxes so that profit will be maximum. Now to find the solution first we need to divide this problem into number of stages. So as there are four stores we can divide this problem into four stages. So in stage 1 we can consider store 1. In stage 2, we can consider store 1 plus store 2. In stage 3, we can consider store 1, store 2 and store 3 together. And in stage 4, we can consider all 4 stores together to find the optimal solution. Let x1, x2, x3 and x4 are number of crates or boxes allocated to store 1, store 2, store 3 and store 4 respectively. Whereas f1 of x1 f2 of x2, f3 of x3 and f4 of x4 are respective profit from 4 stores. Now here our objective is to maximize the profit. So this f1 of x1, f2 of x2, f3 of x3 and f4 of x4 are the profit. So total profit will be the f1 of x1 plus f2 of x2 plus f3 of x3 plus f4 of x4 then total profit z is equal to f1 of x1 plus f2 of x2 plus f3 of x3 plus f4 of x4 and constraints are on total number of boxes total number of boxes are 6 so total number of boxes will be x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 which should be less than or equal to 6 where number of boxes should be greater than or equal to 0 so this is the formulation of optimization problem now let us see the stage 1. In stage 1 we have to consider store 1. So in store 1 number of boxes are x1 and respective profit is f1 of x1. So these values are given in the problem. So for different number of boxes respective profit value are given here. Now in stage 2 we have to consider store 1 and store 2 together. So here this is store 1 and this is store 2. So x1 will be the number of boxes that can be allocated to store 1 
f1 of x1 will be the respective profit for those allocations here x2 will be the number of boxes that can be allocated and f2 of x2 will be the respective profit for those for that allocations now here if we consider combined profit of store 1 and store 2 here maximum six boxes can be distributed so total profit will be f1 of x1 plus f2 of x2 so here for zero allocation total profit will be zero if you allocate one box for store 1 and 0 for store 2 then profit will be 4 plus 0 is equal to 4 and, and so on find the total profit like this now when we allocate one box for store 2 then for different combination of store 1 then these are the profit values which is 2 plus 0 is 2 then 4 plus 2 is 6 then 6 plus 2 8 then 7 plus 2 9 like this here if you try to find this value then this 6 plus 1 will be 7 and we have only 6 boxes so we cannot allocate any value here so in this way we can calculate profit values for different allocation like this now the diagonal values indicates the profit for particular number of boxes that can be distributed between two stores if there is one box then profit value can be 2 and 4 if there are two boxes then these diagonal values are for two boxes these diagonal values are for three boxes these diagonal values are the profit values for four boxes these diagonal values are profit values for five boxes and these diagonal values are profit values for six boxes that can be allocated amongst store 1 and store 2 now for particular number of boxes we can find maximum profit so these highlighted values are the maximum profit for particular number of boxes so if there are zero boxes profit will be zero if there is one box then maximum profit will be four if there are two boxes then maximum profit will be six and that can be possible for two different combination then for three number of boxes maximum profit is eight and allocation is possible in two different ways then for four number of boxes maximum profit will be 10 and allocation can be possible in two different ways then for five number of boxes maximum profit will be 12 and allocation can be possible in two different ways and for six number of boxes maximum profit will be 14 and its distribution is two boxes for store 1 and four boxes for store 2 now let us summarize the solution of stage 2 so that we can use that solution for stage 3 so here these are the number of boxes 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and this row indicates maximum of f1 of x1 plus f2 of x2 so for 0 maximum is 0 for 1 maximum is 4 for 6 maximum is 6 for 3 maximum is 8 for 4 maximum is 10 for 5 maximum is 12 and for 6 number of boxes maximum profit is 14 and here in third row distribution of these boxes among store 1 and store 2 are given here zero boxes in store 1 and zero boxes in store 2 this is one box in store 1 and zero box in store 2 then three boxes can be allocated in two different ways that is two boxes for store 1 and one box for store 2 or one box in store 1 and two boxes in store 2 similarly for four boxes there are two possible combination two boxes can be allocated in store 1 and two boxes can be allocated to store 2 or one box for store 1 and three boxes for store 2 so that we will get maximum profit as 10 similarly for five boxes and six boxes this is the maximum profit and this is the possible allocations now this solution which we have got in stage 2 that we will use 
to find solution in stage 3. In stage 3, we have to consider store 3 in addition to store 1 and store 2. So here x1 be the x1 will be the number of boxes that can be distributed and f3 of x3 will be the respective profit for those allocations. So here total profit for combination of three stores can be maximum of f1 of x1 plus f2 of x2 plus f3 of x3. Maximum of f1 x1 plus f2 x2 it is already calculated in stage 2. We have to check in combination with f3 x3. So here we can find maximum profit for different combination. So 0 plus 0 0 4 plus 0 4 6 plus 0 6 so in this way we can calculate the values for different combinations that can be allocated within store 1 store 2 and store 3 here also for particular number of boxes maximum profit can be highlighted so this diagonal values 6 4 of profit for one box then these diagonal values are for two boxes then for three boxes then for four boxes then this is for five boxes and this is for six number of boxes that can be allocated amongst store one store two and store three now out of these profits we can highlight maximum profit for particular number of boxes if there are zero boxes maximum profit will be zero if there is one box then maximum profit will be six and its allocation can be zero in store one and store two and one for store three if there are two boxes then maximum property will be 10 and distribution will be like this one box in store 1 zero box in store 2 and one box in store 3 for three number of boxes maximum profit is 12 for four boxes maximum profit is 14 for five boxes maximum profit is 16 and for six boxes maximum profit is 18 now let us summarize this result of stage 3 so that we can use for stage 4. So here first row indicates number of boxes that can be distributed amongst three stores and this is maximum profit that can be possible for those boxes and combination can be like this. If there are zero boxes then in store 1 0, store 2 0 and store 3 0. If there is one box then that box can be allocated like this zero box in store 1 zero box in store 2 and one box in store 3 if there are two boxes then allocation can be one box in store 1 zero box for store 2 and one box for store 3 if there are three boxes then maximum profit will be 3 and there are three possible combinations that is two boxes for store 1 zero box for store 2 and one box for store 1 second possible combination is one box for each three stores and third possible combination is one box for store 1 zero box for store 2 and two boxes for store 3 so similarly for four number of boxes maximum property is 14 and four different combinations are possible so first value shows for store 1 then middle value shows for store 2 and last value shows for store 3 then for five number of boxes maximum property is 16 and there are four possible distributions and if there are six boxes then maximum profit can be 18 and distribution can be possible in four different ways now this is summary of result that we have got at the end of stage 3 so we can use this result in stage 4 so for stage 4 here we can write the maximum possible boxes that can be allocated for store 4 if there are six boxes allocated between three stores then zero box will be available for store 4 if there are five boxes allocated between three stores then for fourth store there can be maximum one box so in this way we can write 
number box is as 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so that total number of boxes between four stores will be 6 and here f4 of x4 indicates the profit values for allocations of boxes in store 4 means if you allocate 6 boxes for store 4 then profit will be 4 if you allocate 5 boxes for store 4 then profit will be 4 and so on now the maximum profit for first 3 stores we have already calculated in stage 3 in stage 4 we will add profit of store 4 so total profit is f1 of x1 plus f2 of x2 plus f3 of x3 plus f4 of x4 which is 0 plus 4 is equal to 4 6 plus 4 is equal to 10 10 plus 4 is equal to 14 12 plus 4 is equal to 16 14 plus 3 is equal to 17 16 plus 2 is equal to 18 and 18 plus 0 is equal to 18 so this is the total profit when we consider when we allocate 6 boxes between 4 stores so maximum profit is 18 so maximum profit is 18 and possible optimal allocations can be summarized here these values indicates allocations between 3 stores and this value indicates for 4th store so first possible combination to distribute boxes between 4 stores is 2 for store 1 then 2 for store 2 1 for store 3 and 1 for store 4 so total will be 6 then second possible combination is 1 for store 1 3 for store 2 1 for store 3 and 1 for store 4 then third possible combination is 2 for store 1 then 1 for store 2 then 2 for store 3 and 1 for store 4 then fourth possible combination is 1 for store 1 then 2 for store 2 then 2 for store 3 and 1 for store 4 then fifth possible combination is we can distribute two boxes for store 1 three boxes for store 2 one box for store 1 and zero box for store 4 then sixth combination is one box for store 1 four box for store 2 one box for store 3 and zero box for store 4 next possible allocation is two for store 1 two for store 2 2 for store 3 and 0 for store 4 and last possible comparison is 1 for store 1 3 for store 2 2 for store 3 and 0 for store 4 so maximum profit will be 18 and for this profit values we can distribute the strawberry boxes between 4 stores in 8 possible allocations Thank you for watching the video.